Is it a Rub some acid in his eyes. That'll refresh him. And there, Master, evilness truly suits you. Let us go forth. There are nefarious deeds to be done. Feel the land quaking with fear already. I am Nam, minion master and devoted servant of darkness. The haziness will pass and your muscles will become limber again. You have been asleep for a very long time. This cavern is the spawning pit, sire, where new minions are born and live. Now you are here, you can call forth minions from this minion gate. Ah, look at those keen little evil faces, ready to loot and pillage at your command. Let us continue. Follow me if you wish to study the finer points of combat and minion control. Of course, if you want to get straight to the smiting, then I shall meet you in the throne room upstairs. Your minions will follow you wherever you go, Master, unless you give them a task. Being Overlord is more than just throwing a few fireballs and causing chaos. Proper evil takes skill and maybe, well, just a bit of mayhem. <laughs> I think the Sleeping Beauty's a little rusty. Oh, our jester, sire. I really should have nailed him out for the crows long ago. Teach him to respect his overlord. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> You're tickling! You're tickling! <laughs> Good! Now hit him again! Don't hold back! <laughs> See? It's all coming back now. Evil is not something you just forget. Come on, you metal that shit! Now you've got him! Come on, princess! You move like a dead badger! Shame you don't smell as good! He's out of your reach, sire! Use your minions to shut his flapping mouth! My tubs! They should call you the Oval! Oh, it warms my black heart to see them running about the place, trying to rip each other apart. Oh. I think you're ready, Master. Accompany me to the throne room. Evil deeds won't do themselves. Feel free to beat him further if you wish. Your throne room, sire. Alas, one cannot be a bastion of evil these days without wretched heroes lining up to prove themselves. That last lot were particularly bothersome, killing your predecessor like that. Still, you're here now, sire. Evil will always find a way. They also looted and destroyed much of the tower. But it's merely a setback for the forces of darkness, sire. You are our new overlord! Rebuild your tower, 
punish those so-called heroes, and re-establish a dark domain. This is the Tower Portal, sire. Sadly, it's missing its power source, the Tower Heart. However, there's still a tiny bit of energy left. It's just enough to transport you to the last known location of the heart. Ah, you made it through the gate, sire. This tranquil wilderness, so rural and idyllic, hideous, is it not? Try not to inhale it, my lord. You can summon your minions from these gates. They are ancient arcane links between your tower and this land. Currently, you can only summon browns. You must find the other lost Midian tribes before you can summon them. Perhaps we may recover some of our looted tower objects in this lush, verdant abomination. These fluffy creatures barely know they're alive. But you can still harvest life force from them. Remember, life force equals minions. Return to the gate to call more to your side. You must build up your army, sire. Summon more minions at the gate. These urns ahead may yield something beneficial. There's nothing minions like more than breaking things. Well, apart from killing things. <laughs> You'll need more minions to move that pillar. All yours, you putrid lumps of flesh. Make your master proud. Onwards! Oh! Halflings took over my farm. Tied me up in the sun to scare the birds. Now, those pumpkins are plotting against poor Bob. They want revenge for all the pies I made. And the soup, and the jelly, and the, uh, ice cream. I hear the pumpkins whispering at night. But I won't leave my farm to the Harflings. Oh, no. They're worse than the pumpkins. Please help get Bob's farm back. Oh. Your creatures ain't related to pumpkins, are they? <laughs> They're screaming! The pumpkins are screaming! They're scared! Get them! Get them! Even the birds laugh at me! They're in league with the pumpkins! Keep those squeaky things away from me! Your creatures ain't related to pumpkins, are they? That showed him! Oh, you'd better get going, Sonny. Now, the path beyond my house leads to the village of Spree. Oh, I bet there are more of them fat little demons about. So be careful. <laughs> me? Well, I think I'll stay in here. Fix me fun. Maybe grow mallows instead. Yeah, mallows don't talk so much. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Minions will automatically equip any useful items they find. And often, oh, any useless items too. But do not fear, your weapons and armor are custom forged to the tower. We wouldn't dream of giving you any old steal-me-downs. No, no, no. See the clouds that rose from those dead halflings? That's evil energy. It gathers in all us evil creatures. You will learn more of it in time, Master. The Tower Heart. The halflings must have used it to grow pumpkins. The little fools. They have no idea of the real power it contains. Clear those pumpkins and let's get it back to the tower. Your minions will carry it for you, Master. Being the Overlord means never having to lift anything heavy. Ah, the minions 
have found a shortcut. Moldy, keep up with the other minions. Giblet, I see you pretending to hold it with one claw. Hold your share, Gabin, you useless sack of pus. It is back where it belongs. This is the heart of the tower, sire. It will play a vital role in helping re-establish your dark domain. It will allow you to visit the tower whenever you wish and provide access to all of the tower's resources. And look, it seems to have bestowed a little gift upon you, sire. You can now control ten minions. And it seems to have retained one of its spells. The Fireball spell. Robust fellow. Might have known he'd make it. I'll teach you how to use him when the need arises. But I urge you, sire, find more of our missing tower objects. A crane would be particularly handy. Then we could clear the debris around here. Open up some rooms. Unfortunately, I am not the evil entity that I once was. I cannot take the feel of lush green grass under my feet and birdsong in my ears. In fact, I think I need to find a dark corner and something to pummel. I shall stay here. The heart will allow me to speak directly to you, sire, and see and hear what you do. Use the gate to return to the halfling domain. Testing, testing, one, two. Is, is this thing working? It's a bit grubby. Can you hear me, master? Oh. Uh. And now, sire, the creatures around here are rather frisky, so they will have undoubtedly repopulated the area. Please call forth some minions and head for that peasant village. Spree! Voting name. For you? approaching get ready hang on those ain't our flins look at the one with the helmet hmm. could be two halflings holding up some armor <laughs> yeah oh, I bet that's it I don't trust those sneaky little boss names hmm, maybe you're right here prove you ain't our flins and free our men from the camps down the road if you are stay right there so I can get my aim straight now that Lord Spree's gone we're the last line of defence. We let them in and they'll have us in one of those work camps before you can say tea and cakes. Go on. There, in the field, greedy little halflings. Use your fireball spell on the wheat and roast them like suckling pigs. Last 
killing, sire. Killing innocents, <laughs> and I use the term loosely, increases <laughs> your corruption level. <laughs> <laughs> this attracts more evil energy, which increases your powers. However, this is really suitable for establishing a long-term evil plan. That requires people, living people. Gratitude comes with its own rewards. <laughs> this is an arcane blood pit, sire. You can sacrifice minions here to regain your own health. Have no fear. Your minions will gladly die for you. This must be the work camp of those pests. They're throwing rocks. Then again. <laughs> Minions with you. Look, sire, a wheel. Your minions can turn these, and well, you never know what might happen. There are more prisoners over there, but they've got a big old troll guard in them. Get us out of here! Hey, we don't need this crane anymore. You take it. Well, it is ours. Creatures. Quickly, sire. Have your minions bring it to the waypoint gate. Now we have the crane, we can start to rebuild your tower, sire. That crane is just the job. Your minions are opening up the dungeon. Do go see it. It's so soothing. You can fight almost anything you like down there, providing you've already defeated it once. Our boys are safely home! Oh, a fine job, my lord! I would never doubted you for a second. We were just having a little fun with you earlier. No offense, eh? <laughs> It's nice to see folks enjoying themselves for a change. Quite a wild bunch, aren't they? Back home in Ruboria, I'm called Archibald Damius Methuselah Wobbleboard III. But folks around here just call me Archie. We've had some tough times. The halflings have ransacked most of the farms and everyone's turned up in spree on my doorstep. They voted me mayor. I got the drinks, yeah but no food to feed them. Look, I really need some... Uh, <laughs> ...valiant guys to get us back the food the halflings stole from us. Their village lies to the east. I bet they're keeping it there. Go on, 
Full tummies for us equals fuller pockets for you. If you get my drift. <laughs> Looks like they're preparing a party down there. We should hurry up, sire. Don't want to miss it. Joining the party just yet? While they're busy here, perhaps you should find out where those greedy devils have hidden Spree's food. Looks like you'll be able to fit your magnificent and imposing presence in through their lord. We found the nest, sire. Careful! You should not alarm them all at once. Otherwise, they'll have your minions upside down in a pot before you know it. Just place the food over here, Lord. We should take it up to Spree. That food would provide you with a substantial amount of life force, sire. You could leave them the food. Just walk next to the platform and let your minions leave the food supply on it. Or if you're feeling particularly evil, why not just keep it? That is, if we dispose of the <clears throat> witnesses. Hey! <laughs> A generous act. I hope Spree will reward you accordingly. Looks like Melvin is making a run for it. Well, a waddle for it. Your minions seem bewitched. It does have a haunting beauty to it. Perhaps we should stay a while. Revel in the melody. Oh, my feet, Master. So often, the great die before they die. Oh. His music will live on in our hearts. 
You won't be following that tub of blood. You fix that wing, child. One bloated halfling hero. They could feed a hundred minions. The Reds. Those halflings must be using them to start the cooking fires. They must use that wheel to control the flames. of an especially evil disposition. Now you've dealt with Melvin, you should endeavor to find our fiery friends. That's my after them and they'll look after you, just like one big evil family. <laughs> As I explained, Reds are fire immune, but they also have a powerful ranged attack.
My lord, now you've got rid of Melvin, the sheep are flourishing. Take as many as you like, sire. They're breeding faster than I can count them. Oh, more sheepies. Castle Spree is under siege. It's burning. Uh, the the, 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 the demons, the, they, came, they, they came out of the air. The lady, she told us to run, so I ran and I didn't look back, even when the screaming started. I don't know if the others made it. I'm not going back there again. A thousand halflings couldn't do this much damage. I smell magic in the air. That's never a good smell. Sire, I think you should investigate further. Reds! Oh! He was most definitely not local. I wonder if the lady that gibbering peasant mentioned is behind this. Better find another way in, oh master of the shadows. Please hurry, they're coming. Yeah, Stay back. These people are no threat to you. Put that down. Yeah, okay, let's just run. <coughs> Quick, the storeroom. That was horrible. Unless you want the horrible following us in here, I suggest you shut the door. Reds at the back. Your little creatures are just darlings, aren't they? I'm Rose. Well, it seems like you can handle yourselves. Interested in a job? Have you heard about the Heaven's Peak Plague? It's nasty. Very nasty. I came here to see if this place could shelter the poor lumps that aren't infected. Yet. Ugh. I need to get out of here. But I can't leave with these raiders everywhere, and I need my luggage. Could you deal with them and retrieve it for me? Those raiders don't want me helping the plague victims. They want to create chaos. If that plague gets out of Heaven's Peak, then things will get very disorganized. And I hate that! Creature's presence explains how these raiders entered the castle. Quick, Master! Position your reds on high ground to attack the beast. Reds! Reds! Cherubs found it. Cherubs? Yeah. 
I thought you were just the usual run-of-the-mill dungeon fodder, but you've surprised me. I think someone like you could use someone like me. Let's go. So this is your tower. Hmm, it could use a bit of work. Greetings, mysteries. Sire, we've managed to reopen the private quarters. I've instructed the minions to take Milady's luggage there. If you're heading to Heaven's Peak, perhaps you could investigate what's been causing the plague. I'd better get up there. Wouldn't want those little deers eating my things and getting a tummy ache. Give me a chance to spruce up the place a little. Then come on up. I'll put the kettle on. Only good halflings are dead halfling. Careful. This is the only bit of farmland we've managed to save from the halflings. But the crops won't be ready for months. We'll have starved by then. Halfling patrols are still out there. We've seen them going to this old workshop. Think they're keeping something in there. We've never seen anything like it. Darn elves can't keep their own forest under control. These roots are strangling our crops. The forest? It's gone crazy. That ain't natural, I'm telling you. I've tried cutting them, setting them on fire. Nothing else. It's elf magic. I never trusted those 40-year layabouts. <laughs> <laughs> Darn elves can't keep their own forest under control. filled with elven magic. Creature and plant existed harmoniously amid leafy canopies and sun-dappled pools. <laughs> now, it is dank, dark, corrupted. Ooh, I like what they've done with the place. on this once verdant soil. What creature has the dreaming brought forth? 
Alas, Oberon is truly sickened. Elves, even dead ones, can speak telepathically to all magical beings, sire. Lazy creatures. It must prove that it is not a manifestation made flesh. If you are of the earth and not of the mind, seek out the one horned beasts. Once they bestowed healing, but now they crave the blood of living creatures. All living creatures. Blood! Blood! Release them from their pain and return here. Only then shall you learn more of Evernight's sorrow. Elves are more magic than meat, Master. Blue minions are gifted in the magical arts. Find them! Soppy, overrated pit ponies. Elves are despised. Not as much as bloody unicorns. Ah, I see one the flag. your imposing form can enter water, your minions cannot. Well, they can, but they will drown in a rather amusing way. You must find them a bridge across.
Now Oberon's nightmares rule ever night. So Oberon. Catchy name. That elf is protected by a powerful shield master. The roots give it energy. the other roots known, sire. No doubt the dwarf domain is bloated with the spoils of war. We must find a way through, Lord. They have resistance to the poisonous plants in every night. You must find them there. But a green smell! Green smell! <laughs> the Viridian Caverns! The green minions must have made their home here. You must follow them, Master. Follow! Follow! Being an observant lord, I'm sure you've noticed that our green friends are immune to all kinds of poisons. Green life force, sire. Use it to summon green minions to your side. They can also destroy the plants that produce these noxious fumes. Your army is a waste. Sire, if only we had minions that could swim or float. Or not drown quite so fast. Blues swim like fishes. <laughs> the slime, the stagnant odor, the festering corpses. It's all so homely. You'll see that the city of heaven's peak dominates these swamp-laden lands, my lord. Within it, the great citadel of Angelus Keep squats like a fly on a dung pile. Look, friend. The camp is getting pretty full now. We just can't take in anymore. And your little friends look pretty far gone. I I'm sorry. Oh, I don't think he's a refugee, sir. From the way he's dressed, I'd say he's heading to the city, not away from it. You mean you actually want to get in? What's wrong with this guy? You know about the plague, right? The zombies? The city's been closed off. Orders of Sir William, our paladin governor. He even cancelled his own wedding. And that's ain't a woman you want to cancel on. Look, if you and your creatures want to start wandering about, be my guest. I suppose you might find a way in if you search, but I warn you, it's not safe, and you won't get any help from us. We've enough work to do in the camp as it is, and some of this ain't the worst of it. I don't know what's worse, stuck in there with them, or stuck out here with them. I feel terrible. Everything aches. I got out before they shut the city. 
Wouldn't want to be trapped in there. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Get away from me! Get away! Get away! I got out before they shut the city. Wouldn't want to be trapped in there. I'm telling you, he went into that inn. I never saw him again. Keep your eyes open, men. Don't want those things getting in. I don't know what's worse. Struck in there with them, or struck out here with them. Hey, big guy. Get over here. Heard you might be looking for a way into Heaven's Peak. <laughs> You're crazy, you know that? But I've still got a family in there. So, maybe you're the kind of crazy we need right now. See that sewer entrance over there? I've been watching it, seeing a few refugees coming out. Not many, I grant you, and some are in a bad way, a real bad way. But if you want in, there it is. Ah, if you want to cross water, you'll need to locate the blue minions. They must be somewhere around here. They gravitate towards watery areas. What the hell did you do that for? You want your brains eaten like a boiled egg? of death, just like the rest of us. Greens, you choose all browns. Reds, greens. Ooh, an object. I like objects. <laughs> I might have known that the blues would find somewhere nice and damp to hide. Go forth, sire, and retrieve their hive. Your man? Quick, follow them! <laughs> As you can see, Lord, the blues are not adept fighters. We'll be we'll be we'll be but they can resurrect fallen minions. As you can see, sire, blues can cross water. You will need their skills to retrieve that hive. the blue hive. Return it to the tower and bring our boys home. Dead. The serious kind of dead. Where you don't get up and start lurching around. No challenge there, sire. So the priests didn't escape the plague either. 
Looks like the Silent Order, sire. They have a temple within Heaven's Peak. You can see why they called the Silent Order. Although having their mouths stitched up doesn't really give them a choice. Eh? You're going the wrong way. The city's infested. The priests have shut the temple. And all Sir William does is throw endless parties with that creepy Red Dawn lot. He couldn't give a rat's fart about us. We're making a run for it. Better join us if you don't want to end up with bits hanging off. I'm betting there's a clear path behind you. Was he? So William doesn't care about this city anymore. Enemies. They must die. Are you here to do something about the plague? Thank you, Lord. Since Sir William returned from his last crusade, the city has spiraled into chaos. There are zombies everywhere. Some say demons too. And we even had to cancel the royal wedding. Some young harlot, I imagine, with full breasts and an empty head. Could you look into it, Lord? I should stay here. Do what I can for these folks. Some are as frightened to go as they are to stay. Well, that's just typical of her. I mean, of her type, sire. A silly little wench, too daft to know what she's getting herself into. Red! Oh! I'm gonna get a drink. I don't want to remember anything about this place. Blue! Oh! I'm gonna get a drink. I don't want to remember anything about this place. Funny. Was amazing, stranger! Thank you, thank you. We're very impressed. Rex. Especially the way you killed them all! And tired yourself out. Now we'll have our fun! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes another one. Another one's by the look of it. Now don't you start no trouble in here, lad. We'll be watching. Welcome, sire. It may be hell on earth out there, but at our end, the drinks are still cold. Our beer will take you halfway to heaven, and I'm sure you will find something in here to show you the rest of the way. Come on, wench. We're dying of thirst here. I need something stronger.
Welcome to the Order of the Red Door. Do enjoy your stay. <laughs> Spoil sport! Disturb Her Majesty when she's with Sir William. <laughs> Sir William the Paladin has fallen from grace with a succubus queen, eh? So she wasn't enough. She won't be happy about that. Fidelity is not a strong point, succubi. Stop! Our queen does not wish to see you. <laughs> He's to the back of the party. <laughs> She's my sister Velvet. We don't speak. Speaking usually means she's got herself into some kind of trouble again. Judging by this place, Velvet's in it up to her silly little neck. <laughs> Give us sanctuary. Give us food. We beg you. you. Pious silent fiends, we're dying out here. Barriers won't save you. Not in the end. They'll break through. They've got to come out sooner or later. And we'll be waiting. Now that's just silly. They're starving potential worshippers. Do something. <laughs> Come on, man! Oh, He's done it! 
He's broken it down! Looks like there is some humanity left. Let's go! Yeah, I'm starving! My mumble is a bit rusty, but I, I believe he's saying, We surrender, please don't kill us. That's why he's asking the way to the nearest banana merchant. I'm inclined to go with the former. <coughs> they appear to have accepted you as their new god, sire. for dead in that god-forsaken tower? You certainly should not be turning up at my party uninvited and flouting the dress code. You're good for a little entertainment. I do hope you can stay the distance, peon! <laughs> huh. I can't believe I spent so long defending the right and the just! I thought fun happened to other people! They die to give me pleasure! I can't tell you how good it feels to throw off the shackles of morality and antiquated dogma! have a little skill, peasant, but do not overestimate it. I have more. that greedy dwarf king that he can't have his wedding present back. If I'm not going to have a wedding, I at least want presents. Ugh, <sighs> that's velvet. The wizard taught me how to seek my freedom. 
I won't let you take it, you uncouth lout! Never! <laughs> 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 is watching. He is always watching. do not do you justice. You brought me a gift. Some little pixies. You really shouldn't have. Next time, make it something shiny and expensive. Now, let me thank you properly. She's obviously fine. She can find her own way out. Ooh, she's quite the tasty treat, sire. Oh! Narl, go to your corner. I'm going down there to sort this out. Sire, the tower can only accommodate one mistress, unfortunately. Come to play the concerned big sister? Come to spoil my fun, have you? And just as my rescuer and I were about to become bet, you know, I'd increase the abilities of his red and green pixies. And I could do so much more for you, darling. Especially if you take this bed back with me. Don't listen to her. Never listen to her. That's people's first mistake. Turn this door wheel and let's go! <laughs> you should know, sire. That while you were out, I found a way to strengthen your brown and blue minions. Common bribery, Rose. I thought that was beneath you. <laughs> oh. You're not going to let a poor girl just lie here, are you? You'll be sorry. She'll nag you to death. I appreciate your loyalty, sire. Pay no attention to her. She's all talk. Mistress Rose has already upgraded your brown, sire. You can upgrade your blues in your private quarters. Mm. Come on, my lovelies. Pay attention or Auntie Rose will have to hurt you. My sister has some issues, sire. Father was never there and mother spoilt her. Her own puppy, her own pony. No sheepy. Guess who had to clean up the blood? Speaking of cleaning, this place could do with a woman's touch. You should really get it looking a bit more homely. Choose 
Overseer. Honey, love muffin. I found you. You mustn't use the overseer, Snuggle Bottom. The old man don't like it. Clearly, I didn't hit you hard enough. You, I don't like you beaming off like that, my little thieving sugar plum. Just stop talking. It makes con. Angry! Look what you did! Come on, you great lug. Let's go. We are lost. We are lost. The statue is gone. She has been taken from us. Is the destruction of our race not enough for those barbarians? We beseech you. Return her, and you will not find us without gratitude. Until then, we shall know. Lord, never rely on an elf to do anything useful. Yes, An Illuminian spell. Berserk! Good find, sire. This temporarily raises the defense and attack of your minions. However, they have the evidence. This node is sturdier than the rest. Something must have strengthened it. And there is the something now! The proximity of those trolls must have toughened the node. Let's go! 
Shield spell. <laughs> we are on the outskirts of the Golden Hills, home to the dwarves. They're like angry beards on legs. Angry beersome beards on legs. <laughs> Be glad of that chasm, master. Rock giants don't take kindly to anything squashier than they are. And everything is squashier than they are. seen the point of slugs. They seem to exist merely to be squashed. These creatures may be deadly, but they have no love for dwarves. Perhaps that can be of use to us. <laughs> He is no dwarf. Let us out! Let us out! Quick, before the guards return! Let me die with dignity, stranger. <laughs> Bless you, stranger. <laughs> Oh, 
such a proud race, reduced to servitude. <laughs> Sometimes even gods have a sense of humor. Those pipes channel beer straight from the brewery. It's potent stuff. Like minions, dwarves are never more ferocious than when they've had a drink. So, watch out, sire. You choose all! cannot eat it, sleep upon it, nor use it as a weapon. Gold! Music to my ears. Along with the words, trapped elves. Now we just have that 20-ton problem blocking our way. Mother Goddess! We haven't had a breath of fresh air! Poor creature's going to get a stomachache, sire. Best to put it out of its misery. domains need funding, Master. This should do very nicely. The dwarves are fiercely secret about their brewing rituals. This fort must guard the brewery. The Mother Goddess statue, stolen. They make us work, build a new temple. Oh. I confess, Master, I have been hatching somewhat of, oh, let's call it, a cunning plan. I won't bore you with details just yet, but it involves gaining access to that statue. Ah, the 
Where's the statue? Judging by that walking cliff beast out there, the dwarves are expecting trouble. Don't disappoint them, master. from the Elf Temple, sire. Jewel, that thieving female is still after the statue. Wonderful work, sire. Now, we come to the critical phase in my cunning plan. Sweep brown minions onto the statue and see what happens. Brown! Aha! So the old rumors were true. The statue is hollow! More minions, sire! More! <laughs> When they arrive in her domain, your minions will creep out and start looking for a gate. Let us leave this place. Give her a chance to do a dirty work in peace. your evil domain even further, sire. Won't that be nice? This is the center of the dwarves' brewing operations. Their empire is built upon this beverage. They do not expect a welcome magical guided tour. The brewery runs right through the mountain. Goldo screams oh, must be on the other side. I smell beer. You choose all. only build their houses underground to stop rain getting in their beer. Judging by those pipes, this one seems to have a constant supply. Perhaps it's time to soap them up, sire. <laughs>
Greetings. You choose all. This elevator must lead to the lower levels, where they keep the brewing equipment. Drunken scoundrels! Obviously too busy swilling beer to keep up proper maintenance. Decisive blow against the dwarves. They can't cope with sobriety. Return it to the tower, and your minions will get a permanent boost. And they'll be right terrors to put to bed. <laughs> The last of the elven women. I heard them in there, crying out to me. Without them, our ancient race is surely doomed. You would go into the lair of Evernight's destroyer? Riches abound. But you must be prepared to slay the master and his beast. They say he calls the beast Roly. It looks like all the mining has weakened the structure of this place. Careful, Lord! You don't want to end up buried in rubble and chunks of dwarf. Riggs!
in Jules Domain. The minions have found a secluded gate, sire. I believe this is the Reborian Desert. Yeah. Hey Grinder of Goldo and Ravager of Ruli. Watch the sand. It gets in all your crevices. Jewel must have a hideout around here. Be wary, Master. No doubt that guard will alert his friends. You and you, over there. You two stay here. Why fight when you can pay others to do it for you? Everyone has a price. I have a suggestion, sire. When you find Jewel, don't kill her. What? That little flibberty gibbet knows much of these lands. Capture her, and I think I can persuade her to be a little more talkative. What better object to steal than the one everyone wants? Can't imagine why. It's an ugly looking thing. I've managed to increase the energy of that tower gate, but not for long. If you can drive her across the gate, I will transport her to your tower. No place to run there. <laughs> Good. Our guards are currently incarcerating her. Return when you wish to begin uh, speaking to our prisoner. Reds. I beg you, bring the statue hither, so that it may be returned to Evernight. 
It would make a rather splendid tower ornament, sire. I'm sure Mistress Rose is desperate to give it a good dust. If you must give the statue back, sire, just walk next to the platform and let your minions put the statue on it. You have done the elves a great service. We will not forget this. The young lady has been restrained, sire. Let me go! Do you know who I am? Do you know who I work for? Spirited creature. A few days in my Iron Maiden will sort that out. Look, wait, I don't do pain. The wizard, he wanted me to pinch the statue. No idea why he even paid me. Ha, I would have done it for free. There's nothing like the rush of the steel. That's Khan, he's coming for me. I wouldn't want to be you right now. That warrior isn't happy that you've snatched his lady friend, Lord. He's attacked Spree! You must stop him before he kills all your worshippers. She's certainly impertinent. Like my sister, only with some actual talent. Salutations! Help us! He's destroying the town! Come on! I'm sorry, sire. I'm sorry, sire. They threatened to kill my sheep. Naughty, naughty! Those are minion sheepies! Thank the gods it's you, Lord! He's in here! Oh no, there goes Stan! There's no coming back from that. Attack the creatures from above, Master! Rain chaos down upon them! can only attack those creatures from above, sire. Move them higher. You choose all. You choose all. Hey, hey. Uh, we didn't mean to betray you, sire. It just sort of uh, happened. We were weak. Forgive us. Let us worship you again, sire. They have the loyalty of potatoes, sire. Do with them what you will, but make it quick. Khan is heading for Heaven's Peak. You! I know you! You took her away from me! You make Khan angry! Greens! You hide her for him! He wants to hurt her! She 
is mine! He cannot stop me! You cannot stop me! Master, finish him. Your presence is required. Return to the tower. Turn of the Overlord, the one true evil. Oh no, not you, the real Overlord. Yes. I've always been loyal to evil. I don't ask questions. Evil is as evil does. Welcome back, sire. I am home. Even if I did have to hitch a ride inside this wizened and weary body. I believe you've met my daughters, Velvet. I barely recall him, Daddy. She has been most useful to me. And then there's Rose. Sadly, she has not been so cooperative. As if I could side with someone that thinks my sister is useful. You thought you'd killed me, didn't you? You and your hero friends. But I'd planned a little trip, you see. Really get under good skin. <laughs> Literally. That fool wizard thought he'd won. Until I purged his very soul and became one with his mortal carcass. Now that, you'll agree, is a cunning plan. One by one, the others fell to my corrupting influence. Those walls of goodness, purity, obedience. One just has to know where to push. And as for you, you fell and they left you behind in their desperation to become heroes. I gave you a second chance, a different path. You were of use to me, but now you're just in my way. 
Minions! Master! Master! We are your minions, sire! He was nothing compared to you, your supreme evilness! I believe you've been borrowing my spells. No more. Now, I shall eliminate your physical presence. You already dealt with the others for me, my little puppet. <laughs> Master, while you still have power left, I can speak directly to you. There must be a way to stop him. I've got it! The Tower Heart! Rose! Where are you going? Don't make me kill you. Foolish girl. You have damaged the Tower Heart. Always were the smart one. If only you'd joined me! No matter. Once I absorb your energy, I will restore it to its full power. Minions! <laughs> You could have been a hero. Just look at you now. I think I've managed to weaken the Tower Heart. You need to go after him, now. Get your minions back. That's the only way you'll stand a chance. Yuck! That room is full of beetles. They're getting stuck in my boots. Mm, nothing like a little snack with your entertainment. Oh, Daddy never had time for us before. Always off smiting evil somewhere. New Daddy sees my potential. He may look like him, but that's not my father. He's been Overlord a lot longer than you, but you're a fast learner. Did you have fun killing off your old friends? Don't you remember? They left you for dead. The tower remembers. It has absorbed their whinings, their betrayal of you. Listen to them. Is he dead? Surely no one could have survived that fall. We A minion hive. That's it, sire. Now find the others. No, we gotta go. Take what we can and get out of here. He's right. We vanquished the evil. He has earned his rest. Leave him. Then my minions found you, healed you, made you ready to become my successor. Temporarily.
Don't be too despondent. You did quite well. If you defeat him, I'll gladly have you back. I mean, serve you. Reds. Oh. I must confess, you did impress me. You livened the place up. I'm quite fond of you, so try not to die. My father was the wizard, the real wizard. Not that he was much of a father to begin with. want to be heroes. They're so predictable. So are you. is gone. Nothing is left but madness. And so the evil overlord defeated the other evil overlord, and the land rejoiced. His domain flourished. The very land itself bore the mark of his corruption. People lived in fear. They spoke his name in whispers. He killed, pillaged, and destroyed without mercy. He became evil incarnate. His domain flourished. Evil became a part of everyday life. went forth and multiplied. <laughs> the people were in awe of their great leader. He, his mistress, and all their little minions lived happily ever after. <laughs> But evil will always find a way. Nah.